Hey guys, welcome back to World of Tanks, it's Jaeger262, and this is going to be the gameplay video I promised for the Zoo85i, but before that, update 1.51 is here, and there's some things I wanted to go over. First things first are session statistics. Now, when I first started talking about these, I completely forgot, and I had just read the update article, that Hall of Fame kind of maps out your whole career. Session statistics, while it does show you all the things I was talking about, including the brand new win rate, um, damage caused slash received and all this in percentages it is just for the number of battles you played during that session so I'm gonna play a couple of battles in the Zoo 85i for this video and after so many battles I will click this and see if it's working and see how many battles I you know what my performance in this vehicle is like if I'm really good at it if I'm really terrible at it that sort of thing but it's not gonna be the whole overall win rate for your whole career it's not gonna be like the XVM stats like I had predicted it's a way milder version of that, and a version that, in my opinion, actually really does help you out learning what vehicles you struggle in, learning how you can do better, that kind of thing, more than just the Hall of Fame overall career stats, which, if you're interested in those, you can still have them in World of Tanks, you just go to the Hall of Fame. That's the only difference. Second thing is crew books. See, now crew books going all the way up to personal training manual I thought there were three tiers but I guess there's a fourth one allows you to train all your crew members of a specific vehicle so just one crew per book with 20,000 experience so if you're grinding some skills like you're only a few percentage away from getting finally six cents and you don't know what to do or you're just grinding you don't have enough time you can use a training booklet to just boost that experience up and get that skill quicker now right off you only get the 20,000 one but the rest are obtainable as awards although it looks like you can actually purchase a 250,000 one and I will click that now let me see purchase it for what two million credits okay so you can use in-game currency to buy this it was also added to the list of rewards you get from the merit drops which are the things they rolled out in the last update where you play a certain number of battles and do a certain number of things and you get awarded consumables blueprints that sort of thing these are also part of that now so you'll, you should see more training booklets show up as rewards as time goes on but if you don't want to wait for those you can always buy this one two million experience per and again you can only use them for one crew that just makes sense but at least it's not just each crew member like other consumables like food it'll work for all of them now I'm not going to use any of mine but when you log in today you will actually be able to get one for each nation in World of Tanks so that's kinda cool last but not least with the update news Kharkov is back and I'm really hoping that I will see Kharkov so that way I can show you guys not only that map if you didn't you know ever get to experience it because you're a recent player or a brand new player and two, to experience it myself, because they completely changed it, allegedly, and I saw the redesign, it is a bit different, and they gave it a lot more open field spaces, they changed where you were going to spawn, they made the city less of a part, and when you originally played it, the city was where everybody went, light tanks went in the field, and everybody went in the city, and it was just this brawl, it was a great map, I thought, and I guess that everybody agreed, and so I'm very eager to see that, and if anybody plays high tier German, medium tanks and high tier Japanese medium tanks those statistics have been changed for them the German line has become faster and more accurate with a penalty to their hit points whereas the Japanese line has become a little bit less accurate but with increases to their armor their speed and their aim time and that's really going over it I'm glossing over that you should go and read the article or watch the video they did on the update to learn more information if you do play those vehicles I personally don't have any high tier German or Japanese medium tanks so that doesn't really affect me and when I say high tier I mean just tier 8, tier 9, tier 10 and of course the tier 8 premium from each line that's it which is the I believe the STA2 for the Japanese and the Panzer 58 Mutz although the Mutz it changed all of its variants so if you you know you don't have to have just the Panzer 58 Mutz you can have any iteration of that vehicle it works for it it's been changed but that's enough update information I'm gonna jump into some gameplay here and hopefully I'll get some choice shots of my zoo 85 for you guys and we'll start looking at session statistics so thank you so much for watching and let's get into some game 
on Empire's border. We're top tier. And, um... I really have no... No idea where a tank destroyer would play best. I'm assuming it's not the ridge where all the medium tanks are gonna head. Which is where I primarily play. So I'm just going to follow... All the other tank destroyers. And, um... Just kind of see what spots they pick out. I mean, I really am out of my depth with this vehicle. I have no idea what to do with any type of tank destroyer. It used to be pretty okay at the class, and then it just fell apart. I'd rather have more damage done faster, more reliably, than just wait and snipe. And my playstyle is pretty aggressive, as you guys probably know, and I'm pushing up a floating passage of fields. This thing does have great mobility, by the way. I know I covered that in my stats, and obviously the um, traverse is amazing. But I don't want to get too far ahead of my team. Because, you know, a tank destroyer that's out in front is a dead tank destroyer. And I'm kind of playing this like a medium tank, just... on my mini-map when I do that, by the way, I just realized that you're probably watching the gameplay and I have no idea what I just did. But, not important. The biggest thing is going to be to avoid artillery. To avoid this T-28. They didn't do a good enough job of avoiding. Don't have any gun depression in this vehicle. And it's already dead. But obviously, you don't have any gun depression. It is a um, Russian tank destroyer. Great track. The enemy zoo. Or 85. I got that kill. They're getting targeted by the ATT, but he goes down. Two shots off in relatively short time. I'm going to double back and actually protect the base. Got an affirmative there. Yeah, the Panzer IV had the same idea. Um, hopefully we'll capture. So far, pretty okay game in my opinion. Like, I'm not dead yet, so it's got to be worth something. I do not want to block. I mean, I got a pretty good view of the map. As long as the... Oh, uh, well, I guess never mind. I was going to say, as long as he spots the A-20, I could hit targets. There, there we go, there's one. Got another kill. Wow, I actually do love playing it in a tank destroyer. You know, like a sniper's awesome. By the way, I had no idea it was this fun. Um, moderate damage, or er, way better than I get in the Sirocco, I'll tell you that. You guys know how much I hate that tank destroyer. I'll take 714. Uh, I should support this Panzer before he gets obliterated by the KV. See if I can damn. Or got it. Hopefully, I can use some of my mobility to catch up with him since we're both the Panzers. And, uh, yeah, they're asking us not to cap. Please don't cap. I got eight seconds to get over here, so this game's gonna be over before I even crush this ridge. I hope the Panzer 4H can get a shot off, but, uh, they took the safe way out and capped. I am a big proponent of that. Just be safe, why not? There goes my tank, doing a spin. Alright, so 
but only taking 76 damage and dealing 714. Great success for me personally. It's the tank destroyer. Um, Alright, 16,000 credits, 129 XP. Puts me in third place for damage right after that Panzer IV H and the KV 220. And I got to keep 15,000. So, overall, not a bad vehicle. As you can tell, I don't have coded optics on it. You can probably tell that from my view range, but that was a good game. So I'm going to play one more because I already did this really lengthy intro for the update. I'm sorry about that. And kind of get the impression. As you can see by my statistics bar down here, I've actually already played two games in this vehicle trying to test it out. I'm going to play one more. It'll be four for me, only two that you'll get to see. And then we'll look at the statistics and see how that mechanic works. Sorry about that. Talked here on Serene Coast. At least this is a map where I know where tank destroyers ought to be. It doesn't mean I know <laughs> what I'm doing, but we'll figure it out. Just gonna try to play the very obvious section here of G3 and G4, just around here. It'll be kind of fun. done right away. Hopefully I'll get to do some more cool sniping shots. Looks like there's a lot of vehicles out in the middle here. Yeah, M3 Lee is <laughs> going toe to toe with the Lush. <laughs> That's a mistake. Uh, and while I was paying attention to him, I missed... Yep, I missed an opportunity to take it. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get an opportunity like that. Oh my gosh. Here comes that traverse speed. Alright, unlocking, because I have no idea what this enemy of mine is doing. He doesn't seem to have spotted me, which is amazing. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna kill him. Lock on real quick for posterity. And he's dead. Let's get out of. T-67's view range. I did not know... Oh, he's behind a rock. I don't have to worry about him. I did not know what that M3 thought was going to happen. I feel bad for just killing him like that, but he's probably going to be the only dude to like it in this game, so... I need a win too, buddy. Sorry, but... It just had to happen. Oh, wow, yeah. Alright, so the T-14 is complaining that there's no help over here, and he would be 1,000% right. Looks like this whole flank kind of fell apart, so... I'm going to let those guys deal with that, and I'm going to try and help out here, though I don't really know how much help I'm supposed to be. However, I've done no damage this game, and I've lost no hit points, so I'm feeling pretty confident myself, I guess. That's just a Churchill, right? Not a Churchill, right? Uh -huh. There's a lot of enemy tank destroyers out on that island and the island just beyond it. In that D0 location. That I do not want to advance anywhere near. I'm gonna let the P-26 do the heavy lifting on that spotting. And hopefully they'll find them. They'll find me some art. Not arty. They'll find me some TD stone. Oh, okay, I was wrong. I guess they're not. Alright, never mind. So, yeah, I guess I'll move up then. I feel pretty confident. That's only one of the two. The other one being a Hetzer, which could really do some damage to me. 
if I'm spotted, but he'd have to be right. Oh wow, there's a, it's a Churchill three. And he's already made it all the way back. It looks like the Hetzer is going to be in that DO location. So I might try to fight it out with him first. Yeah, we just lost a lot of guys really fast. Oh wow, the Hetzer's behind me. He doesn't have a traverse behind him. He's dead. So yeah, those 50 degrees and second at traverse speed are amazingly godlike. But it's not going to do us a lot of good when we don't have a team to kind of defend. And I'm not going to go rushing out there now. careful that guy is gonna commit suicide for us okay maybe not all right I guess that's just what we're doing now okay yeah I guess it is what we're doing I don't know how that just worked oh because the church is over here now Oh my god! Oh! I cannot believe he just tricked me into drowning. I cannot. I cannot believe that. Oh my god. With full hit points. I drowned with full hit points. That's pathetic. That has to be one of the worst misplays of my entire World of Tanks career. I cannot believe that. That was awful. And I just ruined this video. <laughs> but this this is going to make the cut because, I mean, you guys like to see me screw up. And I don't think I can think of a single way to screw up more than this. Because now this is probably going to cost us the game, to be honest. Yeah. See, I can't. I don't know what this guy's doing. I think he's disconnected. No, he's not. <laughs> well, let's hope he can make it. I cannot believe I just cost my team this win. Oh, that's so bad. I didn't, though. Oh my god, we won! Oh, thank god. Sorry I dragged that last. That's what I mean. <laughs> um... 13, 14,000 games of World of Tanks after six years, and I can still do something as stupid as drown myself on accident. God. Anyway, let's see how this works. We played four random battles, made 43,000 credits. That's an average of 10,000 credits a battle, give or take. So this thing doesn't really make a lot of credits. Combat experience, 1,700. Total credits, 33. What? 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 I don't know why these two numbers are different. Total credits 33, and this one's telling me 43,000. WRT rating 2,501. Average values for the whole session. Delta displays the effect of the current gain session on the part on the parameter. Yeah, look at that. Minus one because I drowned myself. That's great. Enemies are straight is up, victories too. By vehicles, it's just this win rate 1700. Oh, there you go. Okay, so it tells you all the stuff right there. Damage caused and received. Uh, I guess it's in ratios. Average damage 346, average assistance 59, average damage block 28. That is not a lot of damage. So don't count on blocking anything in this vehicle unless you're staring directly at them by the way, which I mentioned in the review, but now you know. So this is a cool little tool. It's not as 
informative as I was hoping, but it's neat. It's a neat tool. And this is a neat little tank destroyer. If I was a really great player with this tank destroyer, I could probably do a lot of damage. And it's just fun for me even as a non-tank destroyer player. So I'm going to give this one a fairly high rating. I think it's a pretty good vehicle. Again, I don't think you're missing out on anything if you don't buy it. I don't think it's a must-have. I don't think it's crazy OP or crazy good. Like the Scorpion. Uh, it's just a pretty average tank destroyer. It's fun. It's unique. If you're a collector, it's a must-have. If you're not in World of Tanks for collecting vehicles, you're just in it for playing, I would say pass on the Zoo 85 i It's interesting, but it's not that great. You can get the same experience from the Chinese Tank Destroyer, and I mean the exact same experience. Or you could play any Tank Destroyer in the game of your choice and just knock off the premium benefits and essentially be in the same spot, in my opinion. However, again, that is the opinion of somebody who only plays... <laughs> um, medium tanks and heavy tanks so for me this feels like every other tank destroyer i've had it's just a very nice feeling tank destroyer it reminds you of the stug obviously and the zoo 85 i've played both and was really great in both of those tank destroyers and it feels like those and not because it's a fusion of the two but it's that kind of feeling it's that kind of you can be aggressive towards the end of a game but if you want to let you know stay in the back and just do mid-range to long-range engagements it can still handle that really well so to me it's like you can get it from every other tank destroyer but if you want one that's really cool looking and really different buy it but otherwise not that special so let me know in the comment section below if you play tank destroyers a lot and you do think this one is special or you don't and why love to engage with you guys and get your opinions on this vehicle and I'm gonna keep trying to play it Um gonna keep trying to learn tank destroyers because now I got two premium tank destroyers and I don't know what to do with them and they play very differently so I'm gonna try to become good in both if you guys want to see I know the Jaeger play video went up a couple days ago of me just playing games if you want to see like the two games I didn't show you are absolutely got obliterated and you want to see more games where it's just like the drowning one where I just fail a lot struggling um, let me know in the comment section below, you know, um, as just a poll. Would you rather see me do more reviews like this or more games of me just playing and doing average? Or would you rather see me just <laughs> doing really terrible in all the games I don't show you? Or would you prefer me to show you the best of the best or a mix of the three? Let me know in the comment section below so that way I can start making better videos and keep you guys more engaged with this kind of stuff and I know this video was already really long which is kind of an issue so I appreciate anybody that stayed around for this long thank you so much and as always I will see you next time